How are you going guys? Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. Today is part two of our kitchen and walker upgrades. So if you missed part one where we manufactured the riser block and then put it in our hydroptic number six jig borer and faced it, there'll be a link in the description below. So what I need to do today, I need to make six longer bolts to go through the column, through the riser block, down into the base of the machine. So the original bolts out of the machine, they are 150 mil total length. The shank of the bolt is about 110 mil. The bolts that we're gonna be making are 300 mil longer than the standard ones to match our 300 mil riser block. The original six bolts that hold down the column, they look to be machined out of a piece of hex bar and they are chromed and they are an inch UNC. It's gonna be pretty easy to make some new ones. Unfortunately, I could not get any high tensile hex bar to make the bolts. So I have just brought in RAM bar. It is a 38 MNVS6, so it's very similar to 4140s. It is chrome bar. Probably should have waited for centerless ground, but I only have a very limited time to do my little odd jobs and projects. So I just ordered in the chrome bar. None of it's going to be chrome when I'm finished, but at least I can get this job out of the way today.
So that's our first bolt machined down. Everything stayed pretty true during the machining process. I did have to turn down the feed rate just a little bit. It was starting to chatter. Cutting something over that distance down to an inch in diameter is a lot to ask for a lathe without things moving around. I'm not gonna do the threading at the moment. Rather than reset up to thread each bolt after I've machined them, I'm just gonna get them all to this stage and do the threading at the end.
Right, guys, so I've got our six bolts rough down now. What I need to do is I need to do the threads on the bottom of the bolt. Rather than try and do it out here, supporting off the tailstock, I'm gonna take it back down into the chuck. That's gonna give me more support, more stability. So the thread we're gonna be doing is an inch by eight TPI. So let's get stuck into that.
Righto guys, so I've completed the threading on the end of the six bolts. What I need to do now is take them over to the milling machine. I need to turn the round end into a hex so we can then tighten down the column once we put it back together. Ready? Righto guys, so I've got everything set up on the mill now, so we're using our super indexer. I've changed the plate over to the six slot plate, so now we're going to get six equal increments. And I'm using a Palbert 45 degree 50 mil face cutter or a shell mill. So now that that's all set up, let's get started.
Righto guys, so that's the first one done. I've milled the hex to suit a 42 mil socket. So the way I did that, you start off with your outside diameter, which is 50 mil. We want to make it suit a 42 mil socket. So the difference is eight mil. You halve that and that is your depth of cut to achieve a 42 mil hex to suit a 42 mil socket. If you don't have a super indexer, another alternative is you could use some collet hex blocks. So we do have those, but I really enjoy using my super indexer. I prefer to use that over this method. Righto guys, so we've got the hexes milled onto our six bolts. What I need to do now is take them back over to the lathe. I need to face the ends of them, break all the sharp corners, give them a quick buff, and then that's the bolts finished.
Righto guys, so we've got our six bolts completed now. Really happy with how the bolts turned out. So you may notice the bolts I've made are different to the original. The original bolt has a full hex all the way down to the shank, where the bolts I've made have a flanged head on them. And the reason for that is trying to tighten a hex bolt down onto a casting, they tend to bite in and create friction, and you don't get enough torque on the bolt. The flanged head will offer a little bit more support and reduce the friction when I'm tightening them. So now that the six bolts are completed, what we need to do next, we need to raise the column, we need to fit the riser block, so stay tuned for part three. Do you want to do that again? Add on straight? Yeah. Sure. And then I need to thread about 80 mil on this end to suit an inch UNF nut, oh, to suit an inch UNC nut. Righto guys, we've completed, oh we haven't completed. Righto guys, we've completed the machining, oh fuck me, have not. Righto guys, we've completed the, uh, and then I can machine them down 0.3 of a mil, and then I can do, uh, fuck. I'm just gonna start again. What I need to do now is take them over to the milling machine so I can, so I can machine the hex to then make them a bolt. <laughs> what I need to do now is take them over to the mill so we can cut the hex on the... <laughs> Let's go do that. Stop chewing gum. <laughs> you fuck it. Right. I stuck my tongue out and you did too. <laughs> <laughs> Wash Wash is too big. Oh my god. So now that that's all set up, let's get after it. Oh no. Righto guys, so we've got our six. Oh fuck me. Righto guys, we've got the. Righto guys, so we've got our six bolts. Fuck. Well, the bolts I've just made are a flanged. I just tried real hard, <laughs> really, really hard. Come on then. <laughs> 